to Cap TV, Johnny Clash here, and Evil Kip throwing down the gauntlet being answered by Angelo Carter. Now Evil Kip back on Cap TV after a lengthy absence, after being banned from the building but reinstated only a month ago in Lindbrook, New York. And we have not seen this response for Evil Kip ever here at Cap. And they're locked. Oh, they go for the lockup, but Angelo ducking under. Still jawjacking with the crowd. But I got to say, Evil Kip on the shelf for so long. He's looking determined. He's looking ready to go. And I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm actually excited to see it. But Angelo Carter worrying about the crowd right now as Evil Kip continues to just wait in the ring. Oh. 
There's some of that evil Kip was talking about. Sending Angelo into the ropes, but a reversal. Leapfrog, drop down. Oh, evil Kip is used to this. Walking all over his opponent, what evil Kip does best. Grabbing the hair, one of the most evil things I've seen all day so far. The word of the day was back, and that's where Angelo Carter is right now. Lying there, and this could be it early. No. We have a kick out, and Kip remains on top here. We got more extensions than at and I, I don't think we paid for that sponsor, but Kip is uh, <laughs> going for the long extensions here. Those long, the long hair of Angelo Carter coming into play here as Kip continues his evil ways. Welcome back to Cap TV, Kip. Big shot to the face from Carter and another sending Kip into the corner. Going for that hip toss, but evil Kip with the block. With the throat thrust. It does feel weird cheering for Evil Kip, but he is continuing being evil, working on the hair of Angelo Carter. Slowly pushing Angelo back into the corner post. I don't think that feels very good. Not only that, but those corner posts are pretty cold these days. Kip using that five count to his advantage. Taking his time here as Angelo is wrapped up in the corner. Oh, what is he gonna do next? Is he gonna hit him right in the bullseye? Oh no, oh no. Oh, the leg strength from Angelo Carter sending Kip into the corner post. A little taste of his own medicine here. Kip trying to get back in the ring. Eating a backdrop on the apron, the hardest part of the ring. Some of the crowd likes it, but most of them not. Most of them behind evil Kip. Getting sent back in the ring and Angelo Carter is in control here. Eating a beautiful suplex. This Kip is now the one on his back. Only taking a one count here. Gonna need a lot more damage to keep down Evil Kip. He is back on Cap TV. And you gotta say, all that downtime, Kip is looking good, but not right at this moment. You can't help but believe in that downtime, Kip has been training harder and harder to come back. Put some gold around his waist, and it all starts here tonight. That chin lock applied to Evil Kip in the middle of the ring. And if he doesn't act quick, this could be it here. The crowd is revving him up. Evil Kip is feeling it. Grabbing that hair once again. This might be his only way out. Rolling Carter off of him. Carter rolling back with an enziguri and a DDT right in the middle of the ring. That was beautiful, and that could be it. Only a two count, says referee Emmy, and we're going to roll on here. And here come the fists raining down on Evil Kip's little face. Here we go, Carter staying in control here, clubbing the back of Evil Kip. Oh, and a kick to the lower back, to the kidneys. That's how you shut someone down. And here we go, once again, back to that chin lock as the crowd tries to get Evil Kip up back to his feet. Evil Kip loves to feed off of it. Oh, and a big strike back. Here comes another. 
Oh, and a double. Oh, but a chop to the chest of Evil Kip. Oh, and there's one back. That had to hurt. We're going to go chop for chop here. Listen to that. Listen to the sound of these chops. Both these guys going at it. Big forearm. Evil Kip goes right down. Evil Kip going limp like Michael Bisbing in 2009. As Angelo Carter continues to play with the crowd here. Emmy checking on Evil Kip. He looks out on his feet here. I don't know if we should continue this match. Oh, Evil Kip! Flatliner into the top rope. The crowd comes alive. Evil Kip playing possum here. Hitting the right bumper on his Xbox controller. And here we go, another shot from Evil Kip. Blocking those strikes, hitting them on his own. The fury of Evil Kip, shut down again by Carter, who still has a lot left in the tank. Here comes the knee. Another big back elbow from Kip. Here we go. Big clothesline. Kip is rolling. Sending Angelo. Oh, we got a reversal. Kip into the corner. Big boot here. Double stomp to the back. Evil Kip taking time to gloat here before he continues his attack, waiting for Carter to get up. Going for the curb stomp. Super kick from Carter on Kip's knees. We got a deadlift suplex. That could be it here. Oh, a close two count. Oh no. The hold is locked in here, Evil Kip has to make it to the ropes or roll through. I don't know if he's capable of either right now. He's struggling here. Carter has to bring him back to the center to finish him off. He's using those ropes. Kip is reaching. He might have it cinched in here though. Oh, it looks like Kip was close to tapping out. But Kip finding a way out. Where there's a will, there's a way. And Kip making some separation here so he can continue to roll. Nice roll through. Going for a pin, going for that Inziguri again. Kip grabbing the ankle, slamming the knee. Super kick to the side of the head. There's the curb stomp with the knee by Kip. You might have him here. And that's all she wrote. Here's the Even Stevens take on TK Wild and Cliff Marshall. Oh, I got this. You 
And here we go, TK Wild starting it off with Steve Somerset. The best mustache in the game, TK Wild. Newcomer here at Cap TV, a guy I've known since I'm 11 years old. Teaming up with Cliff Marshall, a guy I know very well in the ring. And Steve Somerset with the shoulder tackle right off the bat, showing them why they are the grizzled vets here, why they are the former tag team champions. And a nice sequence here from TK, and a drop kick, taking Steve Somerset's dumb little face off. And a quick one count. And a cut off here. Steve Somerset just leaving TK in the middle of the ring. But here comes Steven Azure. And there's the flashlight from Cliff Marshall. The survival instincts kicking in here. TK goes for the pin. Look at the teamwork right away from TK and Cliff here. Looks like he's going for the finish here. Steve Somerset getting in the ring as Azure goes for the eye rake. Oh, and a big spine buster, sending TK down to the mat. That might put a normal man away, but TK Wild is not a normal man. And here we go, Somerset back in the match as we got that double team here from the Even Stevens. Backbreaker from Azure. Oh, and a big kick from Somerset. That could be it here. As Somerset works the back of TK Wild. Cliff Marshall trying to get his partner going here, trying to make that tag. We haven't seen Cliff yet in this match, but we know what he is capable of. Cliff is looking great. He's looking ready to go. We've seen him back here on Cap recently, and it's always a pleasure. And here we go. TK Wild fighting back. That forearm reaching for his partner. Keeps reaching, but Steve Somerset with that knee to the gut. Is Azure. Here we go. TK's fighting back both even Stevens. Oh, the single leg crab from Steve Somerset pulling TK Wild back to the middle of the ring away from his partner. Wait, that is the longest tag rope I have ever seen as Cliff is trying to get TK to his corner, but I don't think it works. Steve Somerset figuring out. I don't know if the ref should have stepped in there or what. Technically, Cliff was holding the tag rope. We got a tug of war here. Oh, a roll up from TK. Double, double clothesline. Both guys are down in the middle of a ring. Tag to Steven Azure and a tag to Cliff Marshall. Here we go. Big close on from one of the veterans here at Creative Pro Wrestling. Me and Cliff started on the same day. He's been here since day one. He knows what he's doing and he's showing it. Vintage jumping close on. TK back in the match as these two are reeling. Oh, it looks like we're going to see a double team here from... Accidental crotch on the ropes from TK Wild to Cliff Marshall. Power slam! Oh, no. This might smell the end here. The roll through. The full Nelson. Super kick to TK. 
And there's the finale. One, two, three. And that's all she wrote. going right towards Dante Drago, the son of the sun, taking it to the recently graduated Dante Drago. Here we go. Dante Drago making Leo pay for it right away with a big drop kick. Leo Sparrow trying to get the one up here on Dante, but to no avails, he just ate a huge drop kick. Oh, Dante slingshotted into the ropes and a big clothesline. Only a one count from Leo Sparrow, the son of the sun, of the birds of the sun. And two heavy hitters here at Creator Pro as Dante goes for another, but eats a shining wizard for his troubles. Like Ryan Peterson said earlier, Dante Drago, the number one contender for Aaron Rourke's Create a Pro title, and he will meet him at hunting season at the end of the month in Limbrook, New York. But you can't help but think Leo Sparrow is making a statement as well, saying maybe he deserves a title shot. Maybe he deserves this shot more than Dante Drago. But Leo Sparrow staying on the attack here, keeping Dante grounded. The snapmare, the knee to the back. Oh, and the choke with the shirt. Referee has to step in here. Dante fighting back. The club to the back from Leo Sparrow. Oh, going for a body slam right by the ropes here. I think we're going for a, a rolling Leo here. Is, I don't know what he calls that. But only a two count. He's got to do more to put away the number one contender. Dante winning that number one contendership after a fantastic fatal four-way last month. Outstanding, outlasting his opponents and earning that shot at Aaron Rourke's title. But Leo Sparrow firmly in control here, especially if you ask him. As Dante tries to show why he is the best, why Drago is the best. A knee to the to the ribs from Leo Sparrow. As Dante's perched up in the corner. Stepping out of the way, Leo eating the buckle. 
And again, going for that knee, but Leo blocking it with a European uppercut and a knee to the face. Oh, I think we know what's coming now. Leo's gloating when maybe he should be focusing on his opponent. And here comes the Broccoli Buster. Nobody asked for that. Going for a moonsault. Only a two count Drago kicks out. Leo seems to be in disbelief after the Broccoli Buster and a moonsault from the second middle rope. But it's gonna take more to put Drago away. A pie face from Leo Sparrow. You could see it on Drago's face. He is far from done here. Leo needs to do more to put away Drago. Here we go, deadlift German. Beautiful counter from Leo Sparrow, and here we are. Big forearm, and another. The duck, beautiful power slam. Leo settling up in the corner here, and here comes Drago. Discus Lariat. The crowd knows Drago is the best flying splash. Leo feeds out. Blue Thunder Bomb from Dante Drago. This could be it. Leo kicks out right at the last second. That was a 2.5, maybe even a 2.9. Leo Sparrow showing some life here as Dante Drago rolls on. Is, is he gonna do it? Are we gonna see it? Oh, he's got him. Leo fights out of it. Goes for the roll up. Only a two count. Kick to the gut from Dante. He hooks him, going for that implant. Super kick from Leo. These two are exchanging here. Leo going for a choke slam. I just don't know if that one's gonna work. Here it is, and down he goes. He follows it up. Beautiful DDT. And that's all she wrote. The number one contender rolls on. is a triple threat match scheduled for one fall. One fall! Introducing first, hailing from Long Island, New York, weighing in at 175 pounds, this is the Lost Child, J.J. Doe! <laughs> Introducing next, hailing from the cradle of life, Weighing in at 240 pounds, this is the Ancestral Avenger, Quincy <laughs> And introducing the third and final competitor, hailing from North Belmore, New York, weighing in at 200 pounds, this is the Rocker Boy, Nick Rock! Welcome back to Cap TV as we have a triple threat coming at you right now. We have the rocker by Nick Robles taking on JJ Doe's and Quasi Asante. As JJ Doe's goes right to the jaw jack and the pie face and the slap on both his opponents. I don't think that's going to be smart in the long run for JJ Doe's here. 
Robles with the punch. Oh, big chop from Quasi. Welcome to Cap TV. I think JJ bit off more than he could chew here. As he's sent into the ropes. Oh! And a double flapjack taking him out of the match. The rocker boy and Quasi are in control here. Oh, I think we're gonna see. We're gonna see a matchup right here, right now. The lockup. It's Quasi, the powerhouse, taking control of Nick Robles. And here comes a big shoulder tackle from Robles. The rocker boy is in control once again. Hitting the buckle up and over. Quasi turns around, eats a big drop kick that we've seen many times before here on Cap TV. And every time he hits it perfect. Robles into the ropes again. Big hip toss from Quasi. Oh, the unorthodox elbow drop. I love to see it. As Robles kicks out at two. I think that caught Robles off guard. His Quasi is now back in control. JJ goes still outside the ring. Robles fighting out of a suplex attempt. Going for that kick. But eating a big German. Robles knocked a little silly here. Quasi stays on top. Going for that suplex once again. JJ goes back in the ring. Making Quasi kick the rocker boy. Oh, kicking the ropes. Anything goes here in a triple threat match as now Robles is out of the ring. Doze with a big clothesline to Quasi. Come on, you think you can come here? You come here, it's my house. Come to me, it's my house. And you know that. They know that. Come on, baby, come on. Doze choking Quasi with that middle rope. Referee can't really step in here. Like I said, it's a triple threat match. Using his boot to choke Quasi as JJ goes. But the fight out, the kick from Quasi brings him back into this match. Oh, and there's one of those big chops once again from the powerhouse. A back chop will send you into next week. Look, look at the camera. You did this. Ah, you did this. You would have never ignored me. This would have never have happened. Oh. JJ has a message to send, and he's using Quasi to send it right now. As a big. Oh wait, wait, Robles is back. Sending Quasi into the buckle hard, fighting Robles off the apron. Stoes leaves an opening for Quasi to start fighting back. And here comes something big here. Duck under. Oh, but a crossbody from JJ Doze. And a two count. Quasi kicks out. JJ on top of Quasi. Raining down some fists when he finds an opening. Quasi using those fists to block the attack. at JJ. They've seen him plenty of times before, but they know what gets under his skin. They know what hurts him. But turning your back to your opponent is never smart. Speaking of backs, I think uh, I think he's going to get some payback here. Quasi raining down some chops, but JJ with those strikes to the gut, sending him into the ropes. Oh, and using everything he has. The spine buzzer and only a two count as Quasi kicks out. I had to take a lot of energy for JJ to use a big spine buzzer against Quasi, who is significantly bigger than him. And now Robles getting back onto the apron, using an elbow. Both men fight in the ring, but here comes Robles with the springboard. Double clothesline. The rocker boy is back. Line of JJ and another big drop kick. There's the nip up. We've seen that many times before. We love it here. The splash to the corner. T-bone suplex and the bridge. 
Swayze breaks it up. Ropeless with the best bridge in town. Swayze's got Ropeless up. Rolling sits on standing moonsault. Impressive from Kwesi. JJ breaks up the pin there. That could have been it. What a beautiful display of athleticism for Kwesi here. Kwesi now was sent into the corner. Shoulder first. That'll separate the shoulder real good. Almost kicking JJ. Go for it. The rocker dropper. You might have him here. And that's all she wrote. Nick Robles once again. Here is your winner, Nick Robles. It is I, the Cat TV champion, the artist known as Jake Live. It's funny. It's funny that you all boo me, because really you should be thanking me. You see, shut up. When artists put out their work, when they put out their masterpieces, they are featured and showcased in famous and prestigious galleries, and you pay thousands upon thousands upon dollars to witness it. Yet you all, you come here and witness my work for free. And for that, you should be thanking me. You should be on your knees saying, thank you, Jake Lang. God bless you, Jake Lang. Thank you, Jake. Thank you, Jake. Thank you, Jake. With that being said, out of my generosity, I am holding an open challenge tonight for my championship. Because no one else, no one else wants a shot at me. So with that being said, let's see if someone out there wants the shot to end my picture perfect reign. We got an open challenge here. El Magnifico! Jake Lang going 
for the spear, but El Magnifico jumping over him, working him in the corner. Big enziguri from El Magnifico. Slingshot DDT, but Jake Lang catches it. Sends Magnifico off. Tilt the world into a slingshot. And here comes the big boot. The champion Jake Lang is in control here. This mean streak of the artist Jake Lang has lasted for so long. I'm the Cat TV champion. Yeah. Jake Lang just shutting down Magnifico. Jake Lang egging him on here. Magnifico tries to fight back. Gives him some shots here. Hits the ropes with Jake Lang. One of the biggest spine busters we've seen here on Cap TV. That could have been it, but Magnifico has the wherewithal to kick out. You're welcome. You're welcome. And here comes the crowd trying to cheer on Magnifico. They want to see the upset just as all of us here at Cap TV do. The headlock takeover. Jake Lang with that chin lock applied. They don't want you. They don't want you. Here we go, Magnifico getting back to his feet. Trying to fight out of the hole here, but Jake Lang seems to have it on tight. There's the jawbreaker. Here he comes. Going for the wheelbarrow. Going for the bulldog. Reversed by Jake Lang into a back suplex. Magnifico bounced off the mat here. That could have been it. Oh, he's just rubbing the, the eyes, that face of El Magnifico into the mat. Jake Lang taking every chance he has to play with the crowd, show that he is in control here, grabbing the hair of Magnifico. Picture perfect. He's got the leg hooked. He had the bridge. But Magnifico kicks out after a slow count from the ref. He might have had it here. That chin lock applied again. And it's in tight. Once again, Magnifico fighting from the bottom here. Oh, Magnifico. Oh! Looked like the spine buster again, but Magnifico rolls through with a sunset flip. Rolls through the big boot. Goes for the satellite, DDT, and he hits it. Both men are down. Who's gonna get to their feet first as the referee continues the count? Magnifico almost to his feet. Jake Lang already there. Here comes the flying forearm, just as he started the match. Going for that super kick, caught by Jake Lang. Big step, Enziguri. Going for that wheelbarrow again, hitting the Bulldog. That had to take a lot out of Magnifico too. And we almost had a new Cap TV champion. Here we go, both men breathing heavy. As Magnifico brings Jake Lang back up to his feet, sidesteps an attack. Super kick to Jake Lang as he's perched up in the corner now. Here comes Magnifico. He eats the corner buckle. Jake Lang looking to set something up here. And he eats a boot. 
What are we gonna see here? Wow! That could do it! So close! So close to a new champion. But Jake Lang kicks out. The crowd is behind Magnifico. Here he goes, setting something up. Big back body drop. Again, Magnifico's whole body bouncing at least a foot off the mat. I think we're, we, we all know what we're about to see here. If he could hit it, this could be one of the biggest spears in Cap TV history. Don't turn around, Magnifico. Oh! A roll through! Magnifico had it scouted, almost had him here. He's rolling to the apron. The big shoulder thrust. Big DDT. Slingshot from the ropes. Oh, Magnifico using all of his body weight, but Jake Lang still kicking out. Here comes Magnifico. Big uppercut. Sliding to the apron. He's going back up top. He's got the hair of Jake Lang. He's going for that move once again. But Jake Lang fighting out of it. This is a bad position to be in for both men. He raked the eyes. Magnifico back down to the mat. Here it is. Big spear. He cut him in half. And that's all.